Hey folks, while the Jets spring practices get underway Tuesday with the start of organized team activities, they have 10 of those, three mini camp practices, mandatory mini camp practices, 13 spring practices and all that are basically the same sort of thing all lumped into one. What can we expect from the Jets quarterback competition here in the spring? Uh, obviously a small window compared to what the Jets are going to be having uh, in training camp once that, once that begins in late July and uh, preseason games. So those that's the true proving ground. Uh, training camp, the preseason games, as to whether Sam Darnold can maybe overtake Josh McCown. And that's the important thing to remember here. Josh McCown is the incumbent. He is the starter. He will go into the spring and training camp as a starter. That doesn't mean the job is cemented as his. Um, but I think in the spring here, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Sam Darnold is not going to win this job in the spring. Josh McCown is not going to stave off Sam, Sam Darnold in the spring either. The spring for Sam Darnold is all about, uh, mainly about, getting himself acclimated to Jeremy Bates' offense at a full speed pace against legitimately competent NFL players. And remember, he, Sam Darnold's professional practices so far have been three rookie minicamp practices, and the vast majority of the players he was competing with and against were tryout guys who will never sniff the NFL. So you take that with a grain of salt for how he looked there and what he was able to get out of that experience. Uh, for Sam Darnold in the spring as a whole in terms of these voluntary workouts, in terms of the rookie minicamp, and most importantly in terms of the OTAs and minicamp, it's about getting himself acclimated with Bates' playbook um, and the nuances of it. Remember, McCown, yes, Bates is a new offensive coordinator for the Jets, but obviously there's a lot of carryover from what John Morton did last year. McCown is very familiar with what John Morton obviously did last year because he was the starting quarterback, and he's familiar with Bates because Bates was the quarterback's coach. So McCown has a leg up from an experience standpoint, not just with the Jets and their scheme here that they're using now, but with the fact that he's been in the NFL for what seems like an eternity, and the guy turns 39 years old this summer. So uh, he's still doing it at a competent level in the NFL, and he has a wealth of experience. Um, so that's an advantage for him. Obviously, Sam Darnold has a ton of skill. The ability to throw in the run is something you saw in the rookie minicamp that was pretty nice uh, in terms of one of his attributes. So, But look, I mean, let's not get ahead of ourselves in the spring. The quarterback competition is not really going to heat up until training camp. No one will be named the starter. No one will lose the starting job in the spring. Uh, but this is a chance for Josh McCown to get back out there and uh, get himself uh, familiarized with the ins and outs and the changes that Jeremy Bates may have made to this offense. And it's a chance for Sam Darnold to get a full speed grasp against legitimate NFL competition of what he's dealing with in this offense and, and trying to process the things that he maybe didn't do as much at USC in terms of calling audibles at the line and stuff like that. So that's what to look for in the Jets quarterback competition in the spring.